Hey everybody, it's Doug at Long Valley Equipment. Here's our new Nikon mount for the Epic and Scarlet camera. So this is our positive uh, lens mount. We call it the Posi Lock, and it has the, uh, the stainless steel locking ring that has these three tabs. And what they do is they grab the three tabs on the back of the lens. So to uh, install a lens, what you want to do is make sure that the iris activator is all the way counterclockwise and the locking ring is counterclockwise. The lens should be at uh, 12 o'clock, the, uh, the witness mark, and you're gonna push this down. And now your iris activator will operate the iris. And to release the lens, you just do the opposite. So, Red Supply is a Torx tool. Uh, I got this with my Epic, and it's the T10. I believe it's a Torx Plus and you remove the four screws holding the uh, lens mount that came from red. There are, in addition to these four holes, there are two locating holes. And this prevents the mount from being installed upside down because they're not, they're not in the same place top to bottom. So you can install the mount from uh, upside down. And then this allows, uh, make sure that this recess, which is here, is around these pins. So these pins make no electrical contact. The lens mount is very secure. It's not moving uh, up, uh, up or down or left to right. And I haven't even put any screws in. So um, we're not gonna have any shorting or any problems here with these uh, gold-plated electrical contacts. The other thing to realize is that the mount itself is black anodized and that makes it very hard. The surface is, is aluminum oxide, which is basically the same material that you find in sandpaper. It's a very hard surface, very long wearing. And the other thing that's nice about it is that it's non-conductive. For example, I have a multimeter here, and uh, you'll see that the mount itself does not this surface keeps it from being conductive. So we have three things that make sure we're not gonna have any problems with this mount uh, and the camera. One, we have the recess. Two, we have the fit, which is very snug, which doesn't allow the mount to move. And three, the mount itself is non-conductive. When you install the mount, you generally are going to use the, uh, the Torx tool that Red supplies with the camera. And um, just snug these up. Don't over tighten them. It's very strong. It's an excellent system, I think, that Red has devised. And then you can, at this point, you can decide that you want to um, check the depth, flange focal distance, and the adjustment for that on the camera is right here. Uh, I doubt most people will ever have to do that between the PL mount supplied by RED, a Canon mount, and our Nikon mount. That's it.